Hey guys, and welcome back to my late life lesbian journey. On my channel, I discuss and share my journey and process of going from being married to a man, getting divorced, and coming out as a lesbian. If you'd like to follow my journey, please subscribe. And for those of you who have, welcome back. So also welcome to day two of my 12 days of Christmas vlogmas. So my last video gave you the introduction and on to day two. This video, I am going to go ahead and just give you my review of the new holiday movie, Happiest Season. It's kind of been a big buzz in the lesbian and just, you know, LGBTQ plus community because it's a new Christmas movie that features a lesbian couple. And um, the premise is that, you know, they go home for the holidays and, you know, if you haven't watched the movie, I will definitely be like spoiling some of it for you. So pause now if you want to watch the movie first. I don't want to ruin anything. So, um, okay, I'm going to keep going. But anyways, so this couple goes home and come to find out that the one isn't out to her family yet. So um, I watched this movie with my girlfriend and we both thought it was pretty cute. And even my best friend watched it and thought that it was a good movie and just was a cute story and everything. But I have kind of heard some mixed feedback um, I guess that the feedback is, um, so here you go. Here's the spoiler. So again, if you don't want to kind of know what happens, um, stop watching, go watch the movie first. But, um, in the end, obviously it ends up coming out that this, the girl is a lesbian and her family pretty quickly, like accepts it and everything just ends up being fine and it's happy and it's a good sweet, wholesome ending. And, you know, I don't know, it was just good and cute in my opinion. Um, but I guess some people haven't really liked this because they feel like it's not really realistic of what happens in real life. Um, because this girl's family was, you know, pretty conservative in like part of like a political front. And so they were trying to like maintain these appearances to look a certain way. And I've, you know, heard a lot of people that have like poor experiences with this coming out to their family, you know, not being accepting. And I mean, my heart definitely goes out to those people. Um, but as far as this movie goes, I personally really liked it because it was honestly very similar to my own experience. Um, you know, I did come from a conservative, um, Catholic religious family. And while they did need a little time to like process and digest they pretty quickly just accepted me for me and have accepted you know the girls that I've dated in the past and we just have all kind of moved on and it's interesting because my girlfriend has also kind of experienced you know a similar thing so you know I know it's not everyone's experience and I know that it's all different and I honestly like I do feel so bad for the people that aren't met with that level of acceptance but for me personally with this movie, um, I liked it because even for me, it was relatable. So anyways, um, if you've watched it, let me know what you thought. Let me know your feedback or have you had an experience similar to mine where maybe you were worried, but you came out and everything ended up being okay. So anyways, um, my next video, I'm going to kind of bridge off of this um, because the premise of the movie is that this girl is dating somebody who actually isn't out to her parents. So stay tuned. My video tomorrow will be discussing dating somebody who isn't out yet. All right. Thank you guys so much. And like I said, leave your comments below and you can also follow me on Instagram at ECBettis.